The upcoming iPhone's iOS 18 will feature artificial intelligence in the purest style of Galaxy AI, which debuted with One UI 6.1. However, as per usual, Apple, despite arriving a little late to the artificial intelligence party, is going to have a feature that could potentially make it superior to its competitors. And we are discussing this substantial language model that runs offline directly on the iPhone without the need for an internet connection. This would enable Apple to promote privacy and speed as one of the most advanced features, as you would not have to send all the content to the cloud and then download it, but everything would run much faster and as I mentioned previously, with the certainty that all your information, photos or data are directly stored on the iPhone without the need for any intermediary steps or transfers. However, this can also create a slight disadvantage, as the models that run offline directly on cell phones are still not as powerful as the models that we can find compared to the models that run in the cloud, which have much more processing power and a much larger amount of data, enabling them to have greater intelligence and perform more complex tasks with higher accuracy and efficiency. So let's wait and see if Apple manages to surprise because this information has been published by Mark Gurman in his Bloomberg newsletter. He is an individual from the media who consistently tends to be extremely accurate with all the predictions he makes concerning Apple, so this is most likely no exception. Another aspect that remains to be seen is whether Apple will provide these features free of charge or via a subscription, as Samsung is allegedly considering introducing a subscription fee for these features starting from 2025. However, from my perspective, if Apple releases these features without charge, I believe Samsung will have no justification to maintain their subscription service. So if you are a Galaxy user, it is highly probable that it is on your wish list for Apple to have these features without any cost, so that Samsung is obligated to implement the same functionalities. Surely during WWDC, which is Apple's developer conference, we will be able to learn more information regarding these features that Apple is preparing and that will debut with iOS 18 and therefore with the upcoming iPhone.